Lastly, we'll look at what I think is the most interesting feature about the Crosshair 8 Dark Hero. We'll do some DOS overclocking. DOS OC is short for Dynamic OC Switching. And in my opinion, it's a very smart way to work around AMD's biggest challenge when it comes to overclocking. In order to frame this perfectly, let's grab back to a previous video when we were overclocking the Matisse XT processor. When going through the numbers and discussing them with some of my industry friends, I realized that rather than having several overclocking strategies, AMD users have a set of overclocking trade-offs, but not in a bad way. Frankly, the out-of-box frequencies and resulting performance are excellent. The AMD engineers who were tasked with getting users the best possible performance at default settings did an amazing job. In fact, they did such a good job that manual overclocking can give you worse performance in certain scenarios, specifically single-threaded light workloads. When manually overclocking, you lose the benefits of automatic boost frequency. Also, you can't configure the boost frequencies by specific use case, for example, by core usage or per core. This is the first overclocking trade-off. Settle for lower single thread of performance with higher all-core performance or the other way around. Another overclocking trade-off is that there's no way to configure the system for truly worst case scenarios such as Prime95 small FFT with AVX. On other platforms, you can use an AVX offset ratio to temporarily reduce the performance if such workloads come your way. But on AMD, you can't. That means you have to decide whether you're willing to trade in a potentially less stable system for additional performance in certain situations. Dynamic OC switching allows us to, well, dynamically switch between OC mode and PBO. The real world implication is that you can now benefit from those very aggressive frequencies offered by PBO that go well over your manual overclock. DOS OC requires very little additional configuration work. We'll show you the configuration for both our Maximum Prime 95 stable. Upon entering the BIOS, navigate to the Extreme Tweaker menu. Enter the CPU core ratio per CCX submenu. Set core VID to 1.2. Set CCD0 CCX0 ratio to 43.25. Set CCD1 CCX0 ratio to 43.25. Enable dynamic OC switcher. Set current threshold to switch to OC mode to 75 amps. Before we get to the performance comparison, I want to have a quick word on the current threshold value. The key thing to keep in mind is that DOS OC will switch between OC mode and Precision Boost Overdrive, so you can benefit from the aggressive single thread frequency and performance offered by PBO. The current threshold is one of the ways to determine the exact point at which the modes are switched. Anything above the current threshold will force OC mode. Anything below the current threshold will force PBO mode. The exact trigger point will depend on your CPU, your motherboard, your cooling, and your system. One way of identifying the right trigger point is to check the CPU current during a benchmark workload. I'll give you an example. First, make sure that the system is set to default settings with precision boost overdrive enabled. Then go into the operating system. And here you can use hardware info and Prime95 without AVX. Gradually increase the amount of Prime95 threads until you see the operating frequency drop below your desired manual overclock. When this happens, check the CPU current in hardware info. This is the value you can use to configure DOS OC. The main overclocking uh, challenges still exist from previous generation. That is, if you tune for an absolute worst case scenario like Prime95 with AVX, then you're going to be losing a lot of single threaded performance. The thing is that on this Crosshair 8 Dark Hero, DOS OC kind of helps alleviate that problem. And I think that's where the biggest thumbs up for me goes to this platform. It's to the ACES engineers that came up with DOS OC. If you configure DOS OC correctly, then you'll be able to both enjoy the really aggressive single threaded light workload frequencies offered by AMD's PBO, as well as benefit from the effort that you go through for tuning your manual OC.